everyone, it's your ear. Welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers. Okay guys, so what we're going to do today, this is a request off Instagram. Um, and this is, is this even my person or is someone else coming? So we're going to go deck one and this will be deck two. So pick your deck. Uh, go to where your lower shock, your solar plexus, so the one two inches above your belly button. Go with that one where that is pulling you. Pick your deck number one and number two. So we've always, as always with these readings, um, it works on the collective mutual energy, but this um, is open to choices and chances and changes. So you will have to be open to that. So at the end of the day, it's down to you if you want this person or if you want someone new. Um, but this this will indicate kind of what the mutual energy is with you all. So it's all, it's all free will, isn't it? You know, at the end of the day, you got free will, you can pick. I always say the, the best bit of advice I can ever give anyone is just do what makes you happy. If you're not happy, then, um, but it always, it's harder, it is harder when it comes to like these type of relationships, especially spiritual relationships, um, they become more, they are more complicated, because they're often the, the soul is pulling you, and your heart is, and your heart is pulling you, but your head is going, no, 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 don't go there, Ali, don't go there, but your heart and your soul know something different from what you know. Um, but again, it's always a good indicator to go with if it makes you happy. It's hard when someone gives you the happiness and then you feel like they've backed away or whatever situation has happened in your individual circumstances. It does complicate it. Um, so then you can go into what's light and what's heavy. And that's another good method. Okay, can you think about your person, debt number one? Can I get into collector's energy, debt number one? Um, when something feels light, it's the tr your truth, and when something feels heavy, it isn't your truth. So you could do, you can do it with food, you can do it with clothes, dress. Do you want to buy this? Do you want a body? Do you want to wear this dress? If you feel light, wear it. If you feel heavy, then don't. Ali, do you want to text your false twin, or do you want to text your real twin? Whichever one feels lighter etc etc you can work it out also remember with the twin flames journeys a lot of you if you are on the twin flame path will have a false twin before you have a real one and i hate the label false twin and it is just a label but the the point of it is that you can do your spiritual you can advance a lot spiritually your false twin tends to be there at the start of the awakening process and you will go through the lessons that you learn with them and they can if they the relationships tend to be quite long, quite overdrawn, like drawn out. Some, a lot of people do end up with false twins. A lot of people do. A lot of people end up with real twins as well. But just be aware that false twins and real, real twins. A lot of you, not every single twin flame journey, not every single one, but a, a lot of the twin flame journey, you will have a false twin before you, before you have a real one. And again, that's to learn the lessons, and, and then it speeds up the process of union. So, I've been on my twin flame journey for 12 years now. Okay, can you tell me, get me into their collectives, persons, and their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? So, you have free will. That's the gist of it. The gist of it is you can pick what you want. Um, you can bring someone new to you. You can be open to other relationships. You can be open to whatever possibilities the universe can provide you with, really. Okay, can you tell me deck number one? Is this their person or is someone else coming? So as always, it will work, I don't know if I just said this, on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Is this their magical person or is someone else coming? Um, different to your energies, different to their energies, pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Your, your person's overall energy feels to be quite sad about the situation. Even their person or something, you're like this. It's just kind of highlighting what I've just said. Let me get three more for each side. This has been split. One, two, three, four, one, set one, two, three. And three for this side. There's even the person one. There's a lot of court cards coming up, a lot of people cards influencing the situation. Um, 
and that's not just you, them, that's you as well. There are people um, influencing your situation and trying to put opinions and judgments on it. Remember, those that are judgmental normally don't, haven't really under, got an understanding of how the world works. Do -do -do -do. So, this deck is split. You're going to like this. So, yes, it can be, it is a lot of you watching this, this is your spiritual divine counterpart with the two of cups and the four of wands. True love, celebration. You've also got the page of wands over here. So, your person is um, acting on passion, a little bit immature, going backwards and forwards. One hop backwards, two hops forwards. Um, but yeah, a lot of you, it, the majority of this collective, it is your spiritual counterpart. However, also the majority of this collective, you can bring someone new to you with the page of pentacles. They're all lined up in the, the, the spaces that we've given them. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords and Ten of Pentacles. So, some of you will be looking for more stability. And if you are looking for more sp stability rather than the passionate side, then yeah, there can be someone new coming into your energy, bringing this towards you. You are the one that is trapped. You will be the one that is trapped because part of you will feel, should I be moving on? Am I giving up? What am I actually doing? But this person is offering me stability and way more than this person ever has. Um, etc 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 so you're going to be feeling like you're a little bit trapped within the situation so yes a majority of you watching it is your divine counterpart however the majority of you watching can also have another relationship if you want please don't ever if there's a lot of people out there that will say oh if you go into another relationship it's going to pause your twin flame relationship yada 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 rubbish rubbish right you, you've got free will you can choose what you want you, you're not glued at the hips you have signed soul contracts yes but you can also sign you've also probably signed different soul contracts with other people so if you feel that you're passing up on a chance of happiness there's no harm in going to date other people see how you feel and then knowing if this is your twin flame or your divine counterpart or the equivalent they will always be a part of your life so you can go off and date i got married to neither false twin or real twin and it hasn't stopped the process you know i'm still with my real twin now so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you can go and date who you want if you want to that's completely your choice um your person is in hermit mode at the moment that this is your divine person that is in hermit mode uh, you are also in hermit mode thinking it all through you are fed up you are pissed off you are feeling like god universe come on now as we all are a little bit at the moment with the energies being how they are around the universe, they are a little bit up and down. Um, but you're standing in your power, you're standing strong, you're standing in your passion. And you are ready, you feel that you're ready for the next stage of a relationship, whether it is with this person or whether it is with this other person over here. You are ready for that. So you just keep choosing what makes you happy. Your person is watching what you are up to with the Page of Swords. And some of you, actually the fact that you are getting on in your lives and moving things on, that will bring them back towards you because they suddenly panic and think, oh my God, I'm losing them. I'm losing them. What am I going to do? You know, there's no harm in it at all. So, yeah, the majority of you, it is your divine counterpart, but the majority of you, you can also have a relationship with someone else. Over here, you've got the Empress and the King of Cups with this other person. So this is someone that you could potentially fall in love with, have families with, King of Cups, emotional side of things. I don't do the star signs on collectors because there's far too many of you. I'd reel off all 12 of them, plus all the moons and the stars and whatever else. Um, but you can have this stable relationship over here if that is what you want. But you would just have to bear in mind that this isn't going to be your divine counterpart. So you have got to weigh up your choices, your chances and your changes. Yes, you can have stability with someone new and you can feel a little bit bothered by it. Or you can go with the flow of it and enjoy it with your counterpart. Or you can do both. Just do what makes you happy. Choose what makes you happy. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's down to you. You have your own life. You have your own free will. Um... Once you decide, if you did decide to go with this other person, you wouldn't be feeling trapped because you would fall in love with them or be planning the stable family unit or whatever else you wanted to do. Um, or you celebrate over here with your divine counterpart. But there's no harm in going and doing both and just seeing what happens, seeing what the universe throws at you. You know, if you haven't heard from someone for a long time and you're thinking, God, is time running out? This is taking forever and you're still thinking about them. Um, you know, keep your options open. 
My guide has just said too many uh, cooks spoil the broth, so I, I presume that means don't date as don't date thousands and thousands and thousands of people because you'll spoil um, <laughs> whatever. I'm not entirely sure what he means by that, but too many cooks spoil the broth, he says. So I would try and uh, go to the ones that you're more drawn to. Um, you know, feel the ones if you wanted a lot of you. Again, if it is a false twin, this could possibly be a real twin energy stepping in. There are so many options within your collective on deck number one that you are split in so many different parts and areas. We've got false twins, we've got soulmates, we've got karmics, we've got a whole lot of everyone in this deck. But that's the overall energy of it. Um, if you want to bring someone new to you and you're not sure about whether you want this person or that person, you can say to the universe, at dear universe, what, what would it take for me to bring someone new into my life that I will love more than or equally to blah um, and that will be better for me and we can have a stable relationship where I'm fully happy and we have a phenomenal future together. You can say anything like that to the universe over and over and over and over. 30 times, 30 days, that's a good one if you don't want to do the 5 by 5 um, So yeah, so keep it moving, keep it shifting, but choose what makes you happy. Um, but yeah, majority of it is the same for my person, yes, it is. But choose what you want, okay? You can, you can have a future with your divine counterpart, you can have a future with someone else pick what is right for you you're not all on the same path none of us are on the same path we all have so many different ideas and choices and decisions to make so just focus on you do your self-love and that's a massive part of the self-love thing and a lot of you will find if you do try and move on your person's going to come back anyway trust me it's complicated but yeah so that's it uh i was going to pull you an oracle card let's use this deck no let's we're doing romance, let's use the romance deck. I have got a oracle deck there that I haven't really used in readings before. It's like my personal one. But I used it in a reading yesterday, a private one. Can I have three cards for that one for a bit of advice for them? Let's get some advice for you. So obviously if you want your manifesting plans doing or personal readings, just drop me an email. Uh, mystic love tarot at gmail.com can have three cards please for deck number one advice one two three trust it gets better and support okay trust in the process trust in the spiritual divine uh, and trust in your counterparts as well it, it doesn't have to make sense right now. It doesn't have to. And I know it's hard. Trust me, I really, really do know how hard it is. I've screamed. I've cried. I still do. You know, it's not easy. Divine relationships are never going to be easy. But they're saying to trust in the process. It does get better. You can heal your heart. And you heal your heart by looking at your own support mechanism. Focusing on yourself. Supporting yourself. And choosing what is right for you. Trusting in the process, knowing that if it is a real counterpart, then they will come back and there's always going to be a chance for you and them, whether it's now, whether it's six months down the line, whether it's ten years down the line, you know, trust in the process, the moment you're feeling like your head's kind of falling off, <laughs> screw it back on, you're doing alright, you'll be doing fine, self-care will be the key to working out what you want, try and <clears throat> switch off from thinking about it all for a few hours, if you're feeling really pickled, um, just go right I'm gonna just watch some TV or have a night have a bath with some Epsom salts and some oils and look after yourself um, say that again oh, I just got a song but it went so quickly um, it was something about it being the journey um, it's all about the journey and not the destination. I don't know if that's a song. This is what I mean. It's so hard when I do videos when I get songs. Um, it will be a song lyric somewhere out there. But I don't know what song it is. But that's the most important part of the lyric. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. That's deck number one. Okay, let's do deck number two. Tell me please with deck number two. Is this even their person? Or is someone else coming? So for those that have just tapped in, tuned in, turned on... We are, this is a request on Instagram if you haven't found me on there, it's just Mystic Love Tarot, come find me, come say hey, hey, hey. Um, it's going to work on your strongest mutual energy between you all, so if anything doesn't resonate, um, 
it's just because it's the strongest one so I dip into all your energies and I pull out what is your collective neutral energy that's how these work um, so if it doesn't resonate it probably comes up later because it's still the strongest energy if not you might need to think outside the box or just wait a while okay think about your person to get into their person's energy of deck number two person's energy of deck number two just had a really bad feeling hold on that one of my psychic sisters was about to call me and because i'm recording on my phone it would go boom and i believe everything that we've just done they can't go through now hopefully okay can you get me into their thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes of deck number two can you tell me please of those that pick deck number two is this even their person or is someone else coming so if you didn't listen to deck number one and you just skip through to deck number two you might want to go back and listen to the start of it um i'm sure it's at the start because i talk about free will um and about just choosing what makes you happy really and how to navigate the system by choosing whether something is light or whether something is heavy so if you haven't you might watch deck two and then go back rather than telling me get me to tell you twice in one reading is this even their person or is someone new coming and as always like i say if you don't if you're sick and you're tired and you're fed up you can manifest someone new towards you if that is what you choose so then watch the manifesting video it's a completely different setup from deck one this is is this even their person or is someone new coming Let's just get three clarifying cards at the top. One, two, three. Your person feels you, they need to get their skates on. Okay, reconciliation within deck two. So yeah, again, this would suggest to me that this is some the majority energy of you. We're going to the dark. It's dark in Britain now at like, what time we're on? Half five. Um, so the dark, um, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? So the majority energy of it all, yeah, there's a chance of reconciliation with your person. Some of you have had fallout. Some of them are just ghosted you. Some of them are just being idiots. Um, it's all a mixed match of different energies within this deck. But for you, you're kind of feeling really fed up and miserable with the situation as well with the Four of Cups. Now, what you are doing is standing in your power with the Queen of Pentacles. You're starting to feel more stable. You are thinking, right, if it isn't by here, then I'm going to try it by this day or by... Christmas then I'm going to try something new you're kind of setting the time period of when you've had enough and once you've had enough you're going to kind of go right I'm cutting it off now I'll wait and see what happens um rather than feeling like you're waiting now I always say to people you might as well do that now if you're not <laughs> you're sorry guys but you might as well do that now because if you are thinking that your person you are waiting around for your person you're pressing pause on it anyway so just, you know, try release the situation a little bit, let it, let it flow, let it go, and let it grow, and it'll come back. Because you've got Six of Cups over here for reconciliation. You've also got the world for endings of cycles and beginnings of new ones. So this relationship with your person has had to come to some kind of pause or halt or ends for some of you um for the next steps to be taken with the world card bringing you into some more form of union bringing you into some kind of relationship but it's had to be halted and reconciliation is a part of that there is children involved in this situ a lot of you involved in this situation which does complicate things because while you have the two of cups up here that you want to show them love and you want to be with them you also have the four of cups down here for feeling fed up and miserable and annoyed at the situation and um, so if that isn't physical kids, that will be them acting like a child. You've also got the rainbow bridge in the background that I'm being drawn to for um, the crossing between the two worlds, between our world and the next, the next dimension up. You are being monitored over. You are being monitored. That sounds dead serious, but that's what my guide is saying. You are being looked after more, more rather than monitored by your guides. You are, a lot of you, you're getting messages from your guides, not without realising it. Um, and you're kicking and screaming and saying, right, what do I do? What do I do? 
focus on you. Again, I did say that on debt one, but focus on you. If you are fed up and you feel like you're waiting, um, not necessarily the third party situations, because obviously that is completely different, um, a different energy. If you are a third party and you're thinking, how long do I give this? Um, <clears throat> choose a timing that you feel is right and then stick to your guns if the commitment isn't being offered to you. Um, even if you walk away, again, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily forever, it's just you sticking with your guns. Um, however, those that aren't third parties, if you have nothing that is stopping you other than the fact that you really want to be with them and you haven't heard from them, then, you know, call it, call it a nail on the head for now and just go and enjoy yourself for a little bit. They'll come back. They'll come back with reconciliation. Again, that's your majority energy and you are entitled to do whatever you want. You have complete and utter free will. So if you say, Ali, shut up, I'm going to wait, wait. You know, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but you've just got to keep, if you're feeling fed up and miserable and crying and screaming and pissed off, then, you know, just choose what's right for you choose what's right for you, keep yourself distracted, keep yourself on a high vibration, do things you enjoy, the more stuff you enjoy, the quicker things can move forward rather than sitting there and crying and moping and I'm not just saying that to you, I'm saying it to myself as well, you know I'm a human being, a little bit hybrid but a human being at the end of the day as well and it's all exactly the same kind of situations, your outcome, nine of cups and the sun, three of wands, yes action, Action, movement, love, you've got nothing to lose here really, the majority of you with this deck have got nothing to lose, it is a divine relationship but it's also a heart centred relationship with love, um, I've just seen the body, your two physical bodies entwined into an infinity symbol, um, I know someone said about not believing in past lives, uh, that's completely your choice obviously. Some people that I've met along the way um, believe that the family within, so you're part of a soul family um, and they believe that each person incarnates within that soul family and then you go down and finish off their karma. Whichever way you view it, it doesn't matter because karma is still accrued, karmic debt, debt is still accrued. Um, and if you believe this is your only lifetime then it will be karma from the start if that's what you feel. Um, not necessarily my belief, but we're all entitled to everything, any beliefs you want, so yeah, hey ho, that's how it works. Queen of Cups, Hermit, think it all through, think about what you want. You haven't got a rush to make a decision. If you do make a decision, you can change your mind later. For the point of, in this point of time, they're just saying, think it through, have a rest and gather some strength. Now, there isn't necessarily anyone on the pipeline here for deck two, unless you choose to bring them to you and you decide to nail this on the head. And in that case, again, listen to deck number one because I talk about how to bring that new person to you. Um, but your outcome's really positive. Your outcomes are really good. There is action, there is movement, and there is everything you want. You make a wish card, but your dream's coming true and action. So you just kind of, you are in a transition zone. And the reason you're in this transition zone as well is to be focusing on you and focusing on what you want. A lot of you have really started your spiritual journeys as well because that wasn't really, you felt like that was off to a bit of a kick, um, not a kickstart. Uh, backwards forwards for you on your spiritual journey as well and a lot of you have been fav uh, favoring in faith wavering in faith <laughs> translation error wavering in faith over it because it's a complicated situation but there is reconciliation within deck too um there isn't anyone else being brought into this energy because until you decide what it is that you want um you know if you're going to just stick around and see and wait what happens then then there's reconciliation. If you decide that you've had enough, you're going to give up after Christmas because you don't want to do it again, then there's still reconciliation. So it's kind of irrelevant really what you choose because the end goal is still going to be the same. How complicated is that? Um, in deck one, I said that the majority of you, it is, the, uh, it is the one, but some of you will be false twins as well as real twins. And I talk about um, the difference and how to tell. Well, I don't know if I talked about how to tell, but a lot of real twins have false twins beforehand. Um, so yeah, I was with my false twin. Just talk to you about it a little bit. Uh, how long were we on and off for 10 years, my false twin? Still comes back in contact now. And I've been with my real twin two years two and a half years. Um, complicated with anything, real twins, false twins, but with the real twin, the real difference is you you don't question how they feel, you know that they're having freak outs, but you also know that they love you. Um, and it's the situations really that kind of mean that you can't be together physically like 100% of the time. False twins, they're a little bit more, oh my God, what's the hell's going on? Why aren't they doing this? Why aren't they doing that? But again, that is just stereotypical of it. But false twins, a lot of real, like a lot of the divine feminines, 
will have a false twin before you have a real one. Not all of you, not all of you. Don't take that word as God, spiritual law. That is not spiritual law. That is what spirit is saying, have always said to me. Um, because it's still part of the journey and it's still part of the process and people do end up with false twins. So whether you want to say this is your person and it's them and it's only them and then you can like nail it on the head and meet someone new. The choice is yours my beauties, the choice is yours. Think about the free will. You are here for free will. Nothing in this life is predetermined. Those that say oh well I, uh, I know that it's going to happen because I've got to get married at the age of 32 or 30, well, 52 or yada 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 and I'm going to have three kids at 26 it doesn't necessarily happen like that we have things in this life that are predetermined so our predetermined things would be like my examples would be i was probably always going to get married i was probably I, well i was always going to be spiritual always going to be teaching spiritually teaching people etc etc however i haven't had kids so there the things that would happen like me and my ex-husband could have had kids but that hasn't happened because it's not predetermined. It, um, it, it hasn't happened yet, but if I'm gonna have kids, I'm gonna have kids because that is predetermined. Marriage was predetermined, but who I married, when my kids are, what my spiritual pathway, what pathway I choose to take, what direction I'm gonna go in, not predetermined, your choice. And that includes divine relationships. You wanna stay with your false twin, you wanna go with a real twin, you want a soulmate, your choice your choice you could have kids with your twin flame you can have kids with a false twin you can have whatever you want because it's your free will just parts of it are determined like probably marriage kids spiritual contracts yada 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 possibly we're typing what lessons through work you're going to learn those are all predetermined how you go about them what direction you're going to get those predetermined things that is completely your choice so think about you keep focusing on you keep shifting your energy back towards you It'll be cool, be cool. Okay, so if you want to book a private reading, I've gone off on one, um, as always. If you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. If you want to find me on Instagram, it's just mysticlovetarot. Um, I will speak to you all soon. I'm hoping to do a live feed on Wednesday for Halloween. I'll keep you posted when I know more. Lots of love, guys. Bye.